Hello everyone. My name is Harsh and a very warm welcome to all of you in this brand new app development course in which we are creating an AI assistant app in Flutter and in this video as the title suggests we are going to create a splash screen for our application okay which will be in full screen now this is the basic project uh, that we created last time okay there is nothing much currently there is just a main function or an app okay which is calling my app application here and which have a simple text called is hello everyone now first thing is i want my application to be in full screen when the splash screen triggers so to do that uh, i'm just going to write some codes here inside this main so those codes will be like like this system chrome so simply dot and you will see multiple options here so what we are currently interested is so we are interested in this set enabled system ui mode and simply hit enter now you can if you just hover on it now it will show you uh, it requires a system ui mode so simply you can uh, type system ui mode and you will see multiple options so i want my application to be in the full screen so for that uh, there is a system ui mode called as immersive sticky generally it is used for the games but since i just want it for my splash screen so i can use this okay and this will do uh, our work okay and another thing i want that my application should be in portrait orientation so in that case again i am using this and here preferred orientation okay and simply inside this uh, if you just hover on it now it will suggest you those things okay list of device orientations so simply you can pass a list and simply device orientation dot portrait up okay and simply device orientation dot portrait down so this will fix the orientation for our application but the thing is uh, we need to make sure these things are initialized before running these codes because if you hover on it they are futures so if application runs before this okay in that case what will happen is the application will not be in the full screen or, or it will not be in the uh, portrait orientation mode so to ensure it uh, we can write a line here simply widget flutter binding dot unsure initialized okay and another thing uh, we can mention that this will take some time so you also take some time so you can write await keywords here okay and this will convert into this async and that's it this will turn our application into full screen but there is a glitch if your phone has a notch okay if you are using an android phone and it has a notch in that case it will uh, show a black portion in that notch portion so to do or to fix that we can just move to android simply app src inside this main and this resources uh, there are two files values and values night now uh, you can just click on this style and you will see there is a line uncommented here in your case this line not be here because i have added it so i'm just gonna uncomment it uh, you can just copy this from my github repo or from the description okay window layout in display cutout mode and shortages uh, this will make sure that we cover the notch area as well and simply here we need to paste it too okay so now just close this and it will do the stuff now we can just run the application to check so as you can see the application is running and you can see those things are removed from here if you don't want to see this debug banner uh, do one thing here simply uh, there will be an option debug show check mode banner and you can just make it false and just control save and you will see that banner is gone okay so application is currently in full screen now to create a splash screen i will be creating a separate file a separate folder as well okay to follow a bit neat architecture so in that case simply new folder and i can just call it screen okay i will be placing all the screens inside this and a simply a new file and it will be a splash screen dot dot okay and simply import material here so material dot dot and simply a stateful widget okay and it will be splash screen okay now we will be creating a screen here so simply here what i am gonna do is i will be using a scaffold and currently let it be and simply inside this main what i will do is instead of this scaffold i will be typing here splash screen so simply splash screen and i need to import it so simply press control plus dot and simply import the library and simply control save and you will see nothing is showing here the reason is we don't have anything here okay so inside this splash screen i just want to show this logo that we created last time okay in the center so i can use simply like body and simply 
uh, for now I just want to show a logo in the center so I'm just doing this much in future we will also show a loading animation here okay and that child will be a card okay so if I just press ctrl save for now now uh, you will see nothing is showing here because we have nothing in this card inside this card simply a child and I will be using image.asset and the path of our image so simply assets uh, images and simply that logo.png so you can just check out this path and simply control save and you can see this logo other uh, thing is the logo is just too big now I want to resize the logo so one thing what I can do is I can use media query for it so generally when I work with media query I simply create a separate file for it so simply a new folder I call it helper okay because they are helping me and simply new file and I call it global.dat okay inside this global.dat we will store some constants of our application so like constant and I can store my app name here as well simply AI assistant and I also want to store a media query instance here so simply late and uh, it will be size so simply size and MQ are late which means we are going to initialize it bit later so simply import this material okay so we will initialize it later and we need to initialize it so when to initialize uh, don't do it here okay inside this material because there are chances it may throw some error for us uh, I'm just gonna do it inside this splash inside this build function so simply here uh, I can write MQ and I need to import that MQ so simply press control plus dot and you will see this option from our globals is equals to media query dot of or you will see this option size of so this is a bit newer version okay so it will only update this media query when the size changes so it will store the size of the device so we can work with it so simply initializing device size okay it's a good practice to write comments and now I can use something called as width here and mq dot width and I can just simply be like 0.4% uh, which means 40% of the screen and you can see this much uh, if I write 0.8% which means 80% of the screen are uh, actually just too big so let's say 45% and it look decent okay now you can see a curve here okay which means this card is showing here the thing is I want that card to be bit elevated and another thing uh, I want this image to be bit smaller inside this card so first and foremost thing uh, I just want this card to be bit curved so for that I am using shape and this rounded rectangular borders and inside this uh, we can use an attribute called as border radius and you will see a multiple options here actually I am interested in this border radius dot all uh, you may say we can use circular as well to make the borders curve but if we use circular now uh, you will see this is not a constant field rather if I use uh, dot all okay and just a braces here and I can use radius dot circular in this case uh, what you will see is uh, this is suggesting to be constant so it's a bit good for the performance nothing more than that and you can see the borders are curved here if you are not able to see it for now let me change the color of it so colors dot blue and you can see it okay now I want this logo to be a bit smaller so what I can do is I can just wrap it padding and simply if I just press control save uh, you can see it's a bit smaller but I want it to be a bit more so what I can do is uh, I can give him a rather a dynamic value so simply like this mq dot width and I just want it to be 0.5% of the width and if you want you can change the size of the logo so let's say 0.4 and simply control save and the logo is reduced now the next thing is what I want it waits for a specific mm -hmm. duration on this screen and moves to a next screen so for that we need to create a screen too so new file and I can just call it home screen dot dot and simply hit enter and simply move to our splash screen and just copy this code snippets from here and inside this home screen I am just pasting this code snippets and for now uh, instead of this card what I will use is uh, welcome to home screen and simply press the control save and it is suggesting to use a cons so use it now you may think we are again initializing media query here it's okay we should initialize it on home screen too actually I do it for two times one on splash and another on home okay just a personal thing now instead of this splash screen simply press F2 and just change it to home screen and simply hit enter and now let's move to our splash and we will implement some logic inside init state okay 
so this is the function which is called for the first time uh, when this splash screen is built okay so first it called a create function then init and then another function then build and stuff so it is called only once so we are using this function so simply here what we will do is future dot delayed which means I want some time that you hold this screen and after that duration is completed uh, what I want is you move to the next screen so uh, I'm just doing it for currently two seconds and I will pass a function here like this which means what should you do after completing this duration so for now navigator dot of context and dot push replacement which means I want to replace the current screen with the new screen and we can pass a root here so material page root and inside this builder we can pass underscore and after that like this we can call the home screen we just need to import it and like this and simply a const keyword here okay and simply control save now let me collapse this one so you can view the codes a bit better and simply control save so simply wait for some time on splash and then move to next screen now what I will do is I will just restart this okay and as you can see uh, okay so we waited for some time and then we moved to our home screen okay so this logic is working and for now that's it and one last thing uh, on home screen what I want is uh, this bar should be shown okay which means I don't want it to be hidden so in that case I will again override init state here and here simply what I will do is simply system uh, chrome and you will see uh, set enabled UI mode so simply system mode dot h to h okay which means it will show those bars and that bottom navigation back okay so simply like this and just rerun the application and so as you can see status bar as well as this bottom navigation bar okay is showing here so that's it for now thank you for watching this video see you in the next video till then bye bye